Good morning and happy Memorial Day to everyone. We are grateful that you're able to join us in our celebration of the Eucharist as we lift up all our intentions in one another as we come together in prayer from different places and from far distances, united in heart and spirit in encountering our Lord, and especially the, for the special intention of praying for all those who have sacrificed their lives and given themselves so that we may enjoy the freedoms, the life that we have at the moment. But at the moment, we also pray for those who are in the front lines, the first responders, those who provide us the basic needs and services so that we may have a semblance of a normal life. We now begin our celebration by singing together the song, Send Us Your Spirit. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we now take a moment to once again move into the silence of our hearts and recognize constantly and humbly our dependence on the mercy and compassion of God. You ascended to the Father, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You bring your peace to the world, Christ eleison, Christ eleison. You send us your spirit, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and sat down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They said, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, Jesus. 
When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue, and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so they are driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God and his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly, and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that, that <clears throat> now we realize that you know everything, and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. There's an animal known as a head, hedgehog. Now, it's not native to North America, but it's a small mammal, probably less than a foot long, maybe two pounds, and it has quills. And when it senses danger, it can curl up in a ball and its quills become very sharp so predators can't get to it. But now, it is the natural tendency of the hedgehog to go into this ball whenever it senses danger, to go into hiding. And it feels protected in this hiding place. But of course, it can't remain in that hiding place. Oh, it can go into hibernation for a few days, but it eventually has to come out in order to receive water and other nourishment. We hear in today's gospel how the apostles suddenly recognized that all the teachings of Jesus were true. And yet Jesus reminded them that just as it's natural for the hedgehog to curl up in a ball, the apostles too will go into hiding. And Jesus correctly predicts that with the events of his crucifixion, that the apostles' natural tendency 
will to withdraw, to go into hiding. Now what's interesting is they went into hiding even after the, re even after the resurrection, they stayed in hiding. They still were, were staying in that protective mode. Even after being with Jesus for 40 days, and then even watching him ascend into heaven to be seated at the right hand of the Father in the ascension we celebrated yesterday. And yet, the, hot, the apostles remain in hedgehog mode, in hiding, until they received the gift of the Spirit. For us, we have in essence been also in hedgehog mode. We have been in, locked in our homes for valid reasons um, in, to protect us. And we may feel that sense of protection. But like the apostles, we're now being called to start making a transition again, to move from that protection, that being balled up, and to go out into the world. Now I borrowed that hedgehog analogy from a business management book um, called Good to Great. And in that same book, there was another principle that I wanted to share. And that is the principle of the flywheel principle. And if you think on a bicycle, if you're at a full stop, that first pedal that you take is probably the hardest pedal that you have, the hardest stroke, and yet you don't go very far. And then another one and another one until you build up momentum. And then once you've built up the momentum, it's much easier to continue to take the strokes. And Jesus also recognized that while we are in hiding, while the apostles were in hiding, while they were in hedgehog mode, that they would need help to come out of that mode. And it is that spirit who provides that energy to assist us to begin to take those next steps. We hear in the first reading how Apollos had done great ministries without the gift of the spirit. And for him it was a struggle because it was in the John's baptism of repentance where we are trying by our own will, by ourselves, to move forward and to make a difference. We are called to recognize God's spirit in our lives as we move forward. And it is that spirit who will give us the ability to take the first step, no matter how difficult. And as we continue to reach out to others, we recognize that first step. Today is Memorial Day. And we celebrate people who, when they sense danger, did not go into hiding, did not go into hedgehog mode, but rather risked their lives and gave their lives so that we can celebrate the freedoms that we have and enjoy those freedoms. And it is today that we remember the sacrifices they've made. God remembers their sacrifice, but you and I are also called to use this day to remember their sacrifice. So like the apostles, you and I are called to recognize the gift of the Spirit in our life. Jesus said that when the apostles went into hiding, they may forget who Jesus was, but we don't forget. We are called to remain in Jesus, and both through our hiding, and more importantly, through our coming out, we reach out and we walk in the Spirit of God and remember the promise that Jesus gave us, that he is stronger than all the troubles we have in the world.
Having overcome the world, our Lord Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to help us in our trials, in our mission, to witness to Him. Let us pray for His strength and ask His aid in our needs. Our response this morning is, Lord, let us share your victory. Lord, Lord let, let us share your victory. That those who suffer persecution may have the courage to be faithful to their convictions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us share your victory. That those who are tempted may overcome their weaknesses through the grace of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us share your victory. That those who consecrate their work, profession, and business to Christ may receive the strength to fulfill their duties in a Christian manner. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us share your victory. That the sick and those who are ill may experience the healing touch of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us share your victory. That those who have given their life in service of their country or in service of others may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us share in your victory. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold you in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions of Berhel A. Santiago, the repose of the souls of Lilia Gill, and all souls for whom this Mass is being offered. We remember and lift up together the intentions we have received online, especially the prayers for the well-being and health of Irene Alvarez and Ricardo Miranda, for Marites Pestañas, for all teachers, students, and staff at School of Our Lady. We pray also for the eternal repose of the souls of Maria Luisa Antena Erickson, Edgardo A. Ayala, Arizala, Pasquale Di Paolo, and Jesus Meza. We remember the intentions we have placed in our Ark of Prayer chest and those unspoken in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, let us share your victory. Almighty Father, you can do all things. Grant that we may use your power in all that we do for your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. of the earth and work of human hands who have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands who have become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, be God forever.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yes. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abavos, Plenisum Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus, Qui Venit in Nomine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit.
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, uh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
communion antiphon. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come to you again, and your heart will rejoice. Alleluia. And for all of you who are celebrating with us, praying with us, let's now together open our hearts and our spirits to Jesus. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now together pray to our Blessed Mother Mary. Hail Mary, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is We Will Rise Again. Like a shepherd, I will feed you. I will gather you with care. I will lead you and hold you close to my heart. We Our strength. 
Once again, thank you very much for joining us in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Please continue to uh, update yourself with what is happening and what we are, our activities are in our parish website and uh, Facebook account. Let us continue to celebrate this day and celebrate all those who have made sacrifices, especially for our country and for our freedoms. Have a blessed day, everyone.